their numbers to support each and every one of the 30 parties contesting these polls. Thanks, Alicia. Yes, indeed, we're coming live from Liribe, almost 100 kilometers outside Maseru, the capital city. This morning, we were around Maseru, where we started during morning live, and uh, voters came in numbers this morning in Maseru to cast their ballot. Now we are here at the voting station. I'm standing by with the Deputy Prime Minister of Lesotho, Ndade Montedra Metzing, who is about to enter the polling station. Ndade Metzing, Khozo. Khozo, me. Deputy Prime Minister, this is the third election in space of five years. How do you feel? Is this democracy or we have to do something different as the continent to ensure that this doesn't happen often? No. Going to elections often really it depends on under which circumstances uh, are the elections taking place. In 2015, we had a very serious political tension in the country and it was no longer functional. There were misunderstandings between myself, the party leading and the majority party and the prime minister my prime minister there was a political tension then and through negotiations we agreed that elections will provide a solution will actually address the stalemate that was there and it did that because of the elections we never went back, but the country moved on. But unfortunately, here we are. Elections are gained in a short space of time. This is democracy at its best. This is democracy. This is the rule of law. The constitution of the country provides for this. You remember there was a motion of no confidence. And if there is a motion of no confidence, then the constitution, we follow a constitutional route. The constitution says, if the motion of no confidence is carried, the prime minister has two options, either to resign or advise his majesty to call for elections. So really, Basutu are exercising their democratic right. It should not in any way be construed as instability. This is democracy. Some may argue that uh, the resources that are used for these elections could be better utilized to develop the country. But for us, because if you have democracy, practicing democracy, you know, you have better chances of having peace. And alternative to peace is something which we all don't like. And I, I used to, uh, you know, uh, actually uh, the words of you know uh, rely on the words that were were spoken by the former president of us this is really more often the prime minister of this country he refers to those words more often that the former president once said even the most expensive piece is still cheaper than the most cheapest or than the, cheap, the most cheapest war. So if this allows us not to engage in conflict, it provides you know, a, a way out of a conflict. You remember, the parliament was no longer functioning. There were problems in parliament. There were disagreements on a number of issues. Even the budget could not be tabled before parliament. But now there was this uh, motion of no confidence. And it provided us yet with another opportunity to move on as a country. So this is democracy at its best. The suggestion and the proposal of Ndate uh, Cyril Ramaphosa, the South African Deputy President, in line with the uh, SADAC, recommendations when are you going to implement the proposal no maybe actually the recommendations of SADC we were already implementing them a number of them have been implemented why what we are left with now is to go into the reforms and by the way we need to indicate that those reforms are Basotho uh, 
uh, product. It is a consensus within the country. I think we need to agree that SADAC is here to assist us and create uh, that conducive climate for us to, to move on. But that is Basutu agenda. When I spoke to the leader of the AU uh, Observer Team, former President Joachim Chisano, he ended by saying the big challenge is what happens after the election. Are you going to continue with the process of implementing the reforms and doing this with speed? Because many people suggest that it will be better if that can be done, there can be reform so that we don't find ourselves as a region doing the same thing again, Lesotho going to elections. Uh, you know, if you consider the climate now in Lesotho is peaceful, and I agree with the challenges after these elections, and we are hoping all the leadership is going to accept the outcome of the, uh, of the elections. Uh, but what is important is that there is peace now in the country. And Sadak has done so much. We commend Sadak. We are grateful of the support that we are continuously receiving from Sadak. But we need not say that, as you are suggesting, that we must move with speed. No, this is a, budget, a, a Basoto program. We need to ensure that these uh, reforms are actually beneficial to this country. After these uh, reforms, we need to be saying that no good foundation has been laid and we are sure that the country will never, ever engage in these sorts of political uh, instability that you have gone through. So we need time for that. But the implementation will be as soon as possible. But I'm saying the process, you know, South Africa has gone through negotiations during uh, Quadessa uh, negotiations. You are aware of that. We also hear a constitutional reform is not an event, it's a process. Basutu will be making a constitution. We will not be writing a constitution, cutting, uh, paste and cut and paste, cut and paste. That is not what we are going to do. We are going to consult every Musutu. Every Musutu should be taken. And what is important is that the reforms must carry on and not with this speed that other people are saying that it's not going to be an event, but we can promise our development partners that Basutu are geared, are poised to take the process of reforms forward after these elections. The restructuring of the security cluster, how far? The restructuring of the uh, security cluster is part and parcel of the reforms. So it will be subsumed. It is actually, if you remember, that uh, the reform program is five-pronged. It is uh, the reforms uh, pertaining to uh, judiciary, Parliament, security sector. Uh, I think, and uh, and uh, uh, there are five: public sector, parliament, judi judiciary. Yes, and the constitution. May you are right. So, security sector is part of that. So we cannot talk about one in isolation of the other because some of the issues, in fact, the overarching, the overarching uh, reforms will be the constitutional one because everything has to align, has to comply with the constitution. So it is the main uh, reforms really and immediately after these elections, we are going to be setting up a constitution making body. That uh, finally, the election results, when they are announced, are you confident that all parties will accept the results? So far, all the leaders have expressed that view that all of them are ready to accept that. So for me, for the Congress movement, we are ready to accept the outcome of the elections. Thank you, Ndati. I just want to talk to elderly uh, women. They are here. They came in their numbers. It is the countryside. Mm -hmm.
Young people saying they are looking forward uh, they participate in the rebuilding of the country and they are hopeful that after elections they would uh, experience progress and development. Over to you, Alicia. Thank you so much to our foreign editor out in Lekhibe in Lesotho uh, as of course she is covering uh, the national elections uh, taking place there. Let's now go.